Well, guys, Season 6 is coming to a close for the Mod Showcase. Welcome, everyone. I hope you guys are all having the most wonderful of wonderful days. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to have you guys back here for another Mod Showcase. We haven't had one in, in like, you know, we kind of skipped a week. Uh, I was kind of hoping for some more mods to kind of flow in, but unfortunately... Uh, the community is kind of taking a little bit of a nap right now, but I'm sure with the Twilight DLC soon on its way, we're going to get a lot of useful rigs for a lot of really cool animals, so I can't wait to get into all those with you guys. But before we get started, I do want to give you guys a quick little tutorial on how to make sure that your mod folder is completely clean. Uh, so essentially all you want to do is have your folder look like this. You can move your mods somewhere else, be it, you know, free build, be it Axie. Axie won't break the game. You can keep that in there if you want, but if you really want a fresh, clean install, move everything out, including animal folders, and you're only going to be left with content 0 through 10, plus the game main folder. When you guys are moving your mods, do not, and I repeat, do not, Put a mod folder within your OVL data folder and put your mods in there. That will break your game as well. Uh, by the way, modding is not officially endorsed by Frontier. When you do mod, you do mod at your own risk. But, you know, if you guys follow this tutorial well enough, you guys will be totally fine to play the game just normally, you know? Uh, do we know if mods are going to break? No. Do we know if mods are not going to break? No. We don't know these until the day of. Uh, even back in, like, Asia, like, Southeast Asia DLC, mods didn't break until the day of, so please keep that in mind when you guys are, you know, really just playing with mods. Make sure that you guys don't have any scenery in maps that you want to get right into in case if scenery does break, which I don't think it might. Uh, probably just trash cans because those will come with, like, the new interactions and stuff like that. Either way, you guys are going to be totally fine if you just follow the instructions. If you guys do have a map with modded scenery in it, make sure that, you know, you keep a backup of it. Maybe have a different version without, like, all the scenery in there. If you guys have it be completely covered in modded scenery, uh, good luck. Just keep a copy of that somewhere and just keep that safe. Now, we're going to get started today with the Mod Showcase. Two animals, right? So hopefully you guys are excited for this. I have a very special animal right here. I worked on this commission a few weeks ago, maybe even a month ago. This is, of course, the white-headed lemur. I was super lucky to see these guys at Naples Zoo, and they're so adorable. So, of course, they are very much standardized brown lemurs, if that makes sense. Uh, they're actually once thought to be a subspecies, or the same species as the common brown lemur, but recent, like, you know, DNA analysis and, like, phylogenics, I think that's the name of it, uh, recently proved that it's actually a different species, so that's really cool. Uh, but these guys are super adorable. The females, I believe, have the kind of less white head. You can kind of see that come into play right there. Meanwhile, the males have a much more prominent red head. Uh, and I believe that the females are just a little bit more brown on the back over there, a little bit darker, and the males are a little bit lighter. And they also have different, like, you know, color variations on, like, their paws. Females have darker paws. Meanwhile, the males have a lot lighter paws. It's a very interesting. A lot of small differences that I was hoping to really make stand out in this mod. And I hope you guys enjoy it because I had a super fun time making it. But these guys are super adorable and perfect for any Madagascar section. Now moving right over here, we have my number one mod of like the entire like layout of 1.10. This is Gaboy's Red Panda Remaster, and look at this. I'm gonna put a picture of the original Red Panda up here right now. Uh, maybe the comparison picture that Gaboy has, but this is incredible, and it adds this one new variant, which is the lighter-headed version. This one would be seen as the Himalayan Red Panda. There's two subspecies of Red Panda. There's a Chinese and the Himalayan. Roger Williams, my local zoo, has Chinese Red Panda. Unfortunately, we just lost one of our female red pandas, so that's very sad. Still mourning her loss, but we still have the Chinese panda, so that's really cool. But this one over here is the Himalayan red panda. These guys have a much more lighter face, and it's just super cool just to see. Good boy taking these things into account, and we can also see 
That's another one of those. The Chinese red panda version right over here. A much more distinct coloration. And they're just super adorable. Look at this. A much more higher quality texture, which I always find super impressive. And it's just a really solid remaster to begin with. It makes it look a lot less cartoony. Makes it look a lot more beautiful. But that's really about it. But that's about it for our showcase for today. They also have unique babies too, which I'll throw a picture of right now. Look at that baby. Super cute. Now, that's about it for our mod showcase today. I know, very quick showcase, just two animals, but I hope that the next DLC brings us a lot more wacky and cool animals. Uh, we're gonna end it right over here with our red pandas. Look at these guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are always the best. Be sure to follow the little instructions. When we started off to learn how to kind of prepare your mod folders, you guys don't need to do it until like the day of, um, or like, you know, a few minutes before the DLC rolls out, or maybe like the day before. But either way, I trust you guys to be smart about it. If you have any questions, be sure to look down in the comments below. If you guys are kind of well versed in mods because I'm like super busy recently uh be sure to help your fellow leaf pile people down in the comments below as well if they have any questions thank you guys so much for watching you guys are always the best and I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days bye bye now